Hello folks, so in this video I wanted to talk about uh, one of the coding assignments that I got uh, uh, from uh, this company called HashiCorp. Um, so you can see the company is HashiCorp here and I got this coding assignment on code signal and that's me. And I'm going to have to change that to not zeros and just do something else. Uh, I think it's Golan usually for me so I'll just go. Back up, I think we'll just go with JavaScript. Okay, so now um, this is a pre screening, technical assessment pre screening test, industry coding assignment, and I finished it. Um, I got 400. I think the total score was uh, that you could get was, I can't recall, probably 1000, 1500 something, right? Um, so I think the first one was 200, second one was, no, first one was 100 and then 300 and then 700, I can't recall, something like that. So I just finished two questions, I think, two levels, there were four levels. So let me show you, um, so this is the email that I got from Code Signal Hashicot, where did I do to take technical as a pre screen and um, right and I even got some uh, email from Code Signal again. So reminders and all I got to take the technical assessment. Um, and assessment completed. How uh, much like, like the score? Uh, and assessment will be shared and whatnot. Uh, so okay. So yep. Yeah, so that was the. In, uh, email and uh, I'll show you what was the test that I got. Just a moment. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, take a uh, screenshot of all the questions and all the code that I wrote. I didn't write much code, I wrote only some code. Uh, I mean, it was not too much, it was little only. So, this is uh, level 3 actually. Um, Level 1 and 2 have been described here and for example, uh, I'm even able to select the reason. So, your task is to implement a simplified version of a banking system. So, the whole thing was a banking system and you have to, uh, if you choose Golang, uh, uh, this is the set of questions that you get. I don't know what is the level 4, I know level 1 and 2, it's pretty straightforward. So all operations that should be supported are listed below. Solving this task consists of several levels. Subsequent levels are opened when the current level is correctly solved. You always have access to the data of the current and all previous levels. You can execute a single test case by running the following command in terminal. Bash run single test dot sh test case. So I was using Golang to do this and requirements your task is to implement a simple version of a banking system, plan your design according to the level specifications below. Uh, the banking system should support creating new accounts, depositing money into accounts and transferring money between two accounts. So they had uh, some sample code uh, interface, Go Golang interface and uh, some uh, default implementations which said uh, has not been implemented yet and gave an error. And they wanted uh, me to implement uh, some of the methods, for example create account, deposit uh, and then uh, transfer and whatnot. And then uh, the banking system should support ranking accounts based on the total value of outgoing transactions. So this is kind of uh, about uh, the money going out of each and every account. For example, this transferring stuff that you do, if you keep track of it, uh, more and more transfers means uh, it's like a highly ranked thing, something like that. I forgot the exact detail. And then the banking system should allow scheduling payments and checking the status of scheduled payments. This is the thing that I was uh, stuck at. And uh, here I have wasted time in sorting and stuff like that. Uh, I am really not into data success and algorithms like as in I have not practiced it enough. Uh, and that's why it got slow and it wasn't enough, the speed wasn't enough. I was doing some one and a half hours for this but still uh, I think one hour or one and a half hours. So I got I think 500 out of 750 or something like that over here you can see. So 
something like that. So here, uh, you can actually see uh, you sh it should allow scheduling payments and checking the status of scheduling payments. The banking system should support merging two accounts while reading both accounts uh, balance and transaction um, uh, histories, right? So, to move to the next level, you should pass all the tests at the current level. All operations will have a timestamp parameter as signified timestamp in milliseconds. It is guaranteed that all timestamps are unique and are in the range from 1 to 10 power 9. Operations will be given in order of strictly increasing timestamps. So, they, already, they always had a timestamp for every operation and every transaction. So, um, you can actually see for the scheduled payments, they have this timestamp integer. Um, and then account ID and then uh, and then the, the amount and then the delay uh, schedule so the system should allow scheduling payments and checking the status of scheduled payments should schedule a payment which will be performed at timestamp plus delay returns the string uh, with a unique identifier for the scheduled payment in the following format payment and then the number of ordinal number of the scheduled payment across all accounts so if I do payment first payment payment one and then someone else does the second payment and payment two should it be there. So if account ID doesn't exist should return nil. The payment is skipped if the specified account has insufficient funds when the payment is performed. Additional conditions: the successful payments should be considered outgoing transactions. Uh, I don't get that. If it's outgoing transaction, where is it going to? And included when ranking uh, accounts using the top spenders operation. Um, Scheduled payments should be processed before any other transactions at the given timestamp. So, uh, and then uh, if an account, so it should be processed before any other transactions, let's say uh, create account and what, what or whatever it is, right, uh, at that given timestamp. So, if an account needs to perform several scheduled payments simultaneously, um, then they should be processed in order of creation. If the first which was created first, right? So every operation, the timestamp is different, so no two operations are happening at the same time. So be it scheduled payment or anything, right? And then cancel payment, uh, what is the account ID, and what is the timestamp, and what is the payment ID for the scheduled payment? To cancel the scheduled payment, the payment ID returns to the scheduled payment successfully cancelled if payment ID does not exist or was already cancelled um, or uh, Account ID is different from the source account, like payment ID is of one account, but the source ID is of another account, uh, the account ID is of another account and all, then uh, uh, returns false, note that scheduled payments must be performed before any cancelled payment. So scheduled payment must be performed as the first thing, uh, right? And there are some examples, create account, scheduled payment and what. I don't have more examples unfortunately. But I do have some code uh, search results that I got from, uh, you know, um, GitHub. So there are some people who have actually put this code. Um, for example, uh, this is one, Jesse Huang uh, in Python, right? They've written it here in code learning. Uh, oops. So I was looking for basically scheduled payment in basically this. Uh, or scheduled payment uh, timestamp, right? Uh, you can actually see um, in timestamp here. And uh, if you just search for timestamp, you will actually get the other one that I was looking at. So, uh, this is one over here. So, here you can actually see how the account, uh, so these people have created this account, but uh, initially there will be nothing in this account. So, and the account summary, they have actually coded this out. And uh, they've actually coded the sorting for the you know, by outgoing transactions, how much, what is the um, ranking and whatnot, and sorting the ranking and different accounts and based on the ID and the account ID and scheduled payments, and then a, a mutex, a mutual exclusive log, and then payment counter, which scheduled payment, like, stuff like that. I think so, yeah, I mean. Um, I'll share the link to this and I'll probably uh, you know, port this out and uh, put it somewhere and you also have to do merge accounts that they've done it all pretty much well and uh, they've implemented this 
and uh, the question is here actually and you can actually see that the question differs based on the language variant java this is for the python one i think so they've coded it in python so there are some differences i think so yeah um, so i'll post this and uh, yeah that's all i have for this video and you can go and check but you can't find much banking system uh, problems of from code signal online that easily but uh, it's straightforward question uh, mostly easy um, so yeah that's all i had for this video sharing about the code signal bank system problem i'll see you in the next one bye bye